Hey guys, welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel, and this is our situation number 33 from CE Board Exam November 27, 2017 for Structural Engineering and Construction. The cantilever retaining wall resists active lateral earth pressure throughout its length. So, ito yung mga given natin. So, isa isa yung natin siya. So, for A, that is 10.25 meters. For B, 0.55 for C 0.55 para naman sa H natin this is equivalent to 6.5 meters then D is 2.8 meters then F is 0.5 meters so lahat naman sa naka meters yeah and unit weight ng soil is 17 kilonewton per meter cube. For concrete is 20, 24 kilonewton meter cube. And yung ating active earth pressure is one third. Okay? Then, neglect passive earth pressure at the two. Consider per meter strip of wall along its length. So, ibig sabihin, kung, ayan, naka 3D tayo, ang i-consider lang natin dito na length is equivalent sa 1 meter. So, parang ano na lang din. Hayaan na, haya na rin natin yun kasi 1.0 lang naman siya. Hindi ba? So, for number 1, compute or calculate the total lateral force in kilonewton on the wall due to active pressure. Yeah. That is the lateral ano no, uh, force. So, I ano, lateral force P. Yeah. So, number 1, ang ating lateral force P is equivalent to K okay, multiplied by the unit weight of soil multipl uh, multiplied by H squared over 3 uh, over 2 so itong K na to this is the active earth pressure so kung active earth pressure that is equivalent to 1 third then yung unit weight of soil is 17 then, yung height na tinutupo is magmula dun sa ating, ano, um, ano ba, retaining wall. Okay, so, ang ating H is 6.5 squared over 2. So, ito yung ating lateral force. One third of 17 multiplied by 6.5 squared over 2. So, 119.708 Kilo Newton Ayan. So, tama naman yung nakuha natin. Then, number 2. Determine the overturning moment in kilo Newton meter due to lateral earth pressure. So, ito kasing lateral earth pressure natin. Ang kanyang ano, uh, center is nasa 1 third Ayan. One third of the overall height. So, magmula rito, sa point na to, iipot yung ating P ng pa-clockwise. So, ang ating overturning moment, OM, is equivalent to P multiplied by one third of H. So, this is 119.708 multiplied by one third of 6.5. Okay, yung ating over, uh, overturning moment is it's equivalent to 259.37 kilo newton meters. Next, number 3. How much is the moment in kilonewton meter resisting overturning moment? Ayan. Diba, ang ating P is iikot ng clockwise. So, sino yung mga forces na magre-resist dun? Yung weight ng ating soil and weight ng ating retaining wall. Eh, yung ating retaining wall is made up of concrete. Meron naman tayong unit weight of concrete, 24 kilonewton per meter cube. Eh kaso, yung ating retaining wall is hindi naman siya basta-basta ganun lang ang shape, di ba? 
So, kailangan natin hatiin yung ating retaining wall into different uh, shapes. Ayan. So, gawin natin. Ayan, itong mga to. Ayan. So, this is area 1, area 2, and itong kabuuan na to is area 3. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo rito ng weight 1. Then, weight 2. And then, weight 3. Mga dito siguro. Ayan. Yeah. Weight 3. Tapos, weight 4 para naman dito sa soil. Kasi isa-isahin natin. Weight 1 is equivalent to 24. Then, multiply natin ng area. Ang area niya ay kung 6.5 to, ito naman is 0.5. Therefore, ang overall height niya is 6. So, that is 6. Then, multiplied by 0.25. Tapos, syempre, mumultiply natin ng 1 meter yung length para maging kilonewton. So, kaya na natin yung 1 meter na yun. O, sige. Ilagay pa rin natin yung 1 meter para makita ninyo na Uh, talagang ano, uh, kilonewton yung makukuha natin na force. Ayan. Ayan. So, this is 1 meter. So, kilonewton per meter cube to, ito naman is meter cube. Kaya, kilonewton yung makukuha natin. So, 24 times 6 multiplied by 0.25 multiply by 1. So, 36 kilo newton. So, W2 naman, that is 24, then multiplied by area, that is 1 half, hindi ba? So, 1 half of ano ang base niya? Ayan. Ito kasi 0.25. So, ito naman ano, uh, 0.55. So, 0.55 minus 0.25 is 0.3. So, base na 0.3, then height na 6. Then, multiplied by 1 meters. 1 meter. Kaya, 24 times 0.5 or 1 half, multiplied by 0.3, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 1. So, 21.6. Next, W3. So, this is also equivalent to 24 multiplied by 2.8. Multiplied by thickness na 0.5. Then multiplied by 1 meter. So 2.8 multiplied by 0.5 multiplied by 1. 33.6. Tapos, yung ating W4. Para sa soil, that is 17 multiplied by area. Ang height niya is 6 meters. Tapos, ang base niya is ito. Ilan ba ito? 2.8 minus 0.55 multiplied by 2. 1.7. Then, multiplied by 1 meter. So, 173.5. 44. Yan. Okay. So, ngayon, hanapin naman natin yung kanilang uh, moment arm mula sa toe ng ating retaining wall. So, since ang ating mga moment arm is in terms of X, so X1, X2 na lang. Ayan. So, x1, para sa ating w1, no? Ito na lang. Magmula rito sa point na to hanggang dito sa ating overturning or sa ating toe. So, b plus c, no? So, b plus c minus kalahati ng 0.25. Ilan ba ang anak? 0.55 times 2. That is 1.1. So, 1.1 minus kalahati ng 0.25. So, 
Siyempre, kalahati lang kasi naka ano, uh, rectangle, hindi ba? So, point, uh, 0.975 meters. Ayan. Then, X2 para naman sa triangle. Ayan. So, this is what? Okay, 0.30 plus 0.55. So, that is 0.85, di ba? So, 0.85, then minus... Nasaan ba ang ating W2? Nakalocate ng one-third from its height. One-third from its height. So, minus one-third of... Ah, tama. One-third from its height. Na? So, one-third of its base. Ang base niya ay 0.30. So, this is 0.75. So, 0.85 minus one-third ng base. So, 0.75 meters. Then, X3. Para dito, no? So, kalahati lang siya ng, ano? Ng, so, this is X2, X1. Kalahati lang siya ng 2.8. So, this is 1.4 meters. Then, X4. Saan ba ang ating X4? Ito. Ang ating x naman is 2.8. Then, minus sa kalahati ng 1.7. So, 1.95 meters. So, lahat ng ikot nila ay counterclockwise na kung saan yun ang magre-resist sa ating overturning moment to 2 lateral force P. Kaya, resisting over turning moment, ROM na lang, yan, is equivalent to W1 multiplied by X1 plus W2 multiplied by X2 plus W3 multiplied by X3 plus W4 multiplied by X4. Thirty-six multiplied by point nine seven five plus twenty-one point six multiplied by point seventy five plus thirty-three point six multiplied by one point four plus one seventy-three point forty-four multiplied by one point ninety five. So four three six point fifty five. So that's the malang pinakaiba nila. Okay lang yan. So, 436.55. So, ito medyo, ano ba ito eh? Medyo madali-dali pa itong mga problem ito. Pero, syempre, kailangan mo lang kahit pa paano ma-imagine kung paano yung magiging ano natin eh. Retaining ball or itsura niya in 3D. Ayan. Eh, paano kung nilagay rito na ano, na 2 meters yung length niya. Okay? So, ang lalagay natin yan dito is... 2 meters. Pero sinabi naman dito is consider per meter length lang naman. Or per meter strip. Ayan. So, uh, 1 meter lamang yung length na i-consider natin. Kasi syempre mahaba yung retaining wall na yan, di ba? Napakahaba niya. So, ang kinonsider lang daw namin din is ano, per meter length or per 1 meter. Okay? So, this is our situation number 3 from Seaboard exam November 2017. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.